Life is short. We are walking on a narrow path to come to a sure end. Every second of our lives that pass is irreversible. It is no longer ours. The Bible said that the life of a man could be 70 years or if by reason of strength, 80 years. The average life of male in Malaysia is about 73 years old, just like the Bible said. When I was just a little boy, I wanted to be a grown man so much, or at least a teen, where I thought I could be famous or a dream boy and I can brag about a lot of things. But when I reached that ages, all those thoughts were still clear in my mind, but there was me. Time traveled 10 years later and wishing to go back, where I can hold my grandpa's hand when they were still alive, where I wish I can hold myself from saying bad words to my mom and where, where I can be a good kid at school, not bullying the weak students. Oh, how I wish to go back. Now, here am I, a nearly fully grown up man. And I want to tell you that life is short, but maybe you won't believe me, because I don't believe it either. Everything that happens in my life are just like happened yesterday. It is really hard to convince young people how brief life is. The Bible said life is like a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. If there is a time for you to, good, to do good things in your life, this is the time. If there is a time for you to love your spouse and love your children, this is the time. If there is a time for us to be faithful to God, this is the time. Be the best version of you today. Yesterday has passed, tomorrow never come. We only have this time, this small spot where we are standing at the current fraction of a second. Time is ticking. We are about to close our book at any moment. But despite of, despite of that, you have to have meaning to live on this earth. We are not living just for the sake of living. It is not about the length of time we're gonna have. Our life is short anyway but it but it is about the quality of living Jesus just lived 33 years old and ended on the cross he could have lived much more longer but Jesus had a really clear mission to save the world from sin he been there done that Point A to point B, straight to the point, completed the work. Suppose all of us tied our time to witness for Christ as we tied our income for the church. It doesn't matter if we have 5, 10, 15 years added to our lives. Is there quality of it? Is there is a dedication? If we fill our mind with Christ's mind and fill our heart with His words, we too can finish the work that Jesus wants us to do. We are not about to be held between two choices. We have to do and to know and decide who we are, what we want people to recall us when we are no longer on this earth 
And what are we that we want God to see us? The fool says life is long, is it is uh, certainly not gonna end tomorrow. We still have a lot of time to pity party, drink and drunken from the test of the world. And when I get old, I, then I will repent. And yet many people died every day without repenting. Some of them died while sinning. We have drugs to make people sleep, but there's no single drug to wake people from sleep. We never know that we're gonna live tomorrow. The Bible said redeem the time because the days are evil and the time that we are living now is very evil. It is almost impossible to increase the life expectancy of people but it is really possible to be cut short from it. Day by day the lives of people pass just like that. Killings, accidents, natural disasters, viruses, and many more. Two years ago, I heard people were planning. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that. Me myself did my plan. With my non-visionary mind, I thought there is no way that my plan gonna be stopped but who knows two years later there's gonna be a disastrous pandemic that struck the whole world people die every way life is easy come and easy go nowadays maybe we are already numbed about such things it became like a natural phenomena now we probably think it is the way it is but one thing we have to ask ourselves are we ready are we ready to face the faith like other people do it is common to our eyes that people are dying around us but if you if we are on their shoes, it is not common to our emotion and mind. Facing death is not funny at all. We are to be judged for all the things that we did and did not do in our lives. A preacher once said, Every day, we are actually dying. Because the devil really wants to kill us while we are sinning. But why we are living today? Why we are living today? It is just because of the grace of the Lord to delay our end so that we have the chance and the time to repent. Never believe that we live today is because simply we don't die yesterday we live today is purely because of god's grace for us for all of us the most dangerous things to do is to wanting to wanting god to draw his hand from us so that we can go wherever we want to go and nothing gonna stop us maybe this is the last day for us to prove God that we are on His side. Then, what a thing it is for when we think that we have just one short life to spend and it will soon be over. Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Soon we will transition from this world and face the two kinds of eternity. Some people will enter the kingdom of God, living forever for billion, trillion, 
quadrillion, quintillion years with God. At the other hand, the second kind of eternity. People will be ceased to live forever. Time is running out of us. Do the right decision today before it's too late. The magic mark of 70 to 80 years as told by sound is nothing other from just a short time to invest everything that we have for eternity. You have made the right decision, stick with it. Hold it just for a little bit longer, no matter what happened to this world. When the little cloud will appear in the sky and then turns to be the return of our Lord Jesus and his angels, we will get the reward that we are waiting for. May this help may this help us to realize the brevity and the urgency of time and may we invest what little time we have in the kingdom of God.